Hey guys, and welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. Today I'm going to be doing it on Commander Stone from the Clone Wars collection. Now, uh, this you may not tell by the package if you're not a Star Wars figure collector or if you're not following it, but uh, this is a 2010 figure just released. Oh, like a month or so. Oh gosh, it's right. Like a month or so ago. So, uh, yeah. And he's an outstanding figure, and he has a new sculpt, and I'll go into detail as the review goes on. So here's the photo of him, uh, uh, as you probably want to see. Very detailed. Really cool. Sorry about that, my cat's like climbing on my desk behind me. So, um, get down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, so here is the, uh, information on the back. The information reads... Sorry about this. Commander Stone takes part in a mission to rescue the Republic hostages being held by the Weequay pirates. The clone commander battles the ruthless pirates and helps dodge Sulphur Gazers help to help Jar Jar Binks deliver the ransom and free the prisoners. Pretty, uh, pretty brutal. Yeah. Although, the thing that ruins it is that he's not, uh, yep. sorry about my um, squeaky chair, is that he's not a lead commander. So, it really sucks. But he was in an episode, and I do remember him. Here he is. New sculpt there. And then that nice photo of him in the back. So, uh, let me start the review. And, uh, here is the figure. The, um, the figure is pretty cool. And, uh, he's a new sculpt. So, before I start the actual figure part of it, uh, I'm gonna show you the sculpting differences and pros and cons. First, so the first thing that you'll probably notice is a uh, well oversized blaster, which uh, I will go get the other one. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm trying to get one. Uh, which figure has one? Um. Oh gosh. I'll grab Commander. But. Uh, no, Waxer. There you go. Sorry about that. Might have been annoying. Sorry. So here's a comparison over the two. Uh, the camera isn't like on my table, but it's not standing up. So uh, here he is. Well, here's the gun. Pretty cool, although it is a little oversized. And uh, I think that they had this in the ambush battle pack at Twi at Walmart. And uh, no, this one isn't forward. It's actually like right under it. Definitely a sculpting difference. And uh, the color problem. Uh, yeah, I do have this figure by the way. It's clone trooper waxer. Uh, here it is. The uh, and also the torso has a new sculpt. Before it used to be like uh, like this, or you could bend it, like pose it right here. I don't really see the point. It's kind of dumb, and it wasn't back like it is. It wasn't like uh, set back like this, like it's supposed to be. Though this is perfect, and uh, the, the con about the old ones is that they, some of them are messed up like this one. Although if you put it back, it looks normal, but it still doesn't look right. And uh, the legs, somewhat hard to notice, but not the hardest. Here's the new legs. They have an indent on the kneecap. 
and then uh this one doesn't it just rests on there and then uh the little spike things are attached to there and then they're attached to the top on here uh but the torso is definitely a good change and uh right here <laughs> right there this is also a difference where the belt area is right there there's a, uh, a sculpt difference it goes more down here and it goes it's flat across so this one looks definitely far more realistic and really cool although uh, the holsters are too oversized here's a size comparison yeah although I like the new sculpt more because it's better I mean uh, and also the only other thing about this figure is that uh it took away the uh, this little articulation feature that it had now it only swivels back and forth although he does have a new trigger hand which means that he can hold his one of his pistols in his left hands like this and the finger goes through there so it actually stays in there which is really cool and uh... yeah and also the new uh... <coughs> facial sculpt you probably know what it looks like from Rex. I don't need to show you that. It's a little small, and he, I don't think he. Hit, never mind, no, he does. Yeah, and then the paint apps are very good. Very good for this figure. Very nice great figure and uh, I said I wasn't gonna review them I'm just gonna compare them but I reviewed them so don't comment about that anyways here is commander stone and uh, my store still haven't gotten any of them and I got them from a friend like I my friend in Jacksonville I'm not gonna tell you his username because you're gonna all beg him to buy him buy you stuff and it's not gonna happen and he's just gonna block all you so I'm not even gonna mention his name and if you ask me you're blocked so don't anyway so um, this is a review on clone commander stone from the clone wars collection and uh, uh he does have that little mail away thing anyways this has been a review by only brick productions aka flame baby 735 giving you the latest star wars action figure reviews and legos Bye.